iSpring FreeCam is an easy to use free screen recorder that includes a simple built-in video editor. It records HD 720p quality in WMV format, has no watermarks, no time limits, and even allows sharing your video on YouTube. Let's look at FreeCam. Hi, Dennis Ray here, a subscriber here, a subscriber there, a subscriber everywhere. I wish. Like and subscribe down below. It's the cool thing to do. Okay, thank you. This is the FreeCam interface, and this is to move, resize, and close. To open the recording screen, this will take you to the open project folder. And this is to save projects. And this will customize the toolbar, which is the top line. Tab for your main functions and the help tab. And then down below to start a new recording, to go to the save projects that you have in your folder and to go to the save projects folder. If you click this or this, you'll get the recording screen from the bar on the bottom. You have a button to start recording. And uh, if you click this, that will mute the microphone. Here's where you can set the area that you want to record on your screen. Either type it in or hit the down arrow, make your selections there. Or on the top, you can move these and make your selections on your screen. And if you hit the gear icon, you have some settings that you can change, uh, uh, shortcuts, audio recording. You can set if you want to record the microphone or system sounds or both. And in advanced, you can open windows inside a recording area or show system tray icon, show mouse cursor or highlight the mouse cursor. Yeah, nice. Let's do a recording using FreeCam. Uh, let's use it by showing you where you can get it. Uh, this is a website for iSpring FreeCam, and I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, there's lots of information about FreeCam on the website. Uh, there's features, help, download, and there's information about the pro version, of course. Uh, they want you to use the free cam and entice you to buy the pro version. And there's a listing showing you what the differences between the free version and the pro version are. And the pro version looks really nice. It has a lot of great features, but the price, $227 per year. Ooh, okay. I think I'll stick with the free version. And to get the free version, you go up to the top or the bottom. There's a download link. You enter email address. And, uh, you know, it doesn't even really need to be a real email address because you can put any address in there and it will allow you to download it then. And it's a uh, small download, very easy to install. and then once you have it installed, you're good to go. Now say I want to edit the recording we just made. I had saved it as a project, so I go to Recent Recordings, click on Website, because that's what I named it, and go to the Edit button. That brings up the Edit screen, and in here, uh, if I make a selection in the timeline, I can either delete that, selection or silence the sound uh, trim remove noise adjust the volume fade in fade out zoom the, sele uh, the selection or show it all to make the timeline as long as it shows on the screen and then after i'm done i can either export it To save it as a video, as a WMV video, or upload it to YouTube. Since FreeCam only exports videos to a WMV format, you might want a different format. 
especially because WMV is actually a rather large file compared to MP4 formatting. You can use a video editor like Free Shotcut, which will take a WMV file and convert it by exporting it as a MP4 file. Freecam does have some disadvantages. It doesn't record webcam, but that can be overcome. You can use your Windows camera app to record a video with your webcam, then add it to the video you make with Freecam. I did a video not long ago about how to add a video to a video. See the link in the description below. Number two, it doesn't save or export videos in any other format except WMV. But we talked about using a video editor to convert your file to another format. Freecam does have some great advantages though. It has no watermarks or time limits and it has a cursor highlighter. Its biggest advantage is its ease of use. Overall, a good screen recorder. If you don't really want to use a webcam or don't have one, it would be a great screen recorder for you. That was iSpring FreeCam Screen Recorder. A really nice screen recorder. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe below. We'll see you next time. Take care.